Today we know that reducing carbon emissions will not be enough to avert the climate crisis. However, solutions and technologies exist to remove carbon from the atmosphere. My name is Edwin Rodriguez, Operations Director at Biorestorative IDEA, a CO2 capture and sequestration company. Our company mission is to tackle global warming through the manufacturing of biochar. Biochar is a product that we can make here in Puerto Rico using plenty of bamboo. Bambusa vulgaris, that is a rapid growing grass that is plenty on the rivers in the southwest part of the island. The purpose of a project in Puerto Rico that we call flagship is to take approximately 7,000 tons of waste and invasive bamboo and convert it through pyrolysis into high quality biochar. Biorestorative idea is established in the southwest of Puerto Rico, specifically in Central Eureka. Central Eureka was an old sugar mill that was established in 1907 and was closed as the local economy was progressing and within that evolution, this facility has been abandoned and underutilized for more than 20 years. This facility gives us the quick access to the rivers, specifically the Rosario River and the Guanajibo rivers that cover all the valley from San Germán to Maya West. Why is bamboo ideal for making biochar? Well, I have to state that bamboo is not a tree. It's a prehistoric grass. It's a rapid renewable resource that we can utilize to sequester carbon from the atmosphere at a rapid pace in perpetuity if done correctly. Buenos días, mi nombre es Elio Santiago, director de la Oficina Municipal para el Manejo de Emergencia. El problema que tenemos aquí en Cabo Rojo con el bambú es con las inundaciones. Este material eh, vegetativo es arrastrado por las corrientes y nos obstaculiza los ríos ocasionando inundaciones. Y el problema que estamos teniendo es que no tenemos cómo disponer de, de este material vegetativo. Semanalmente recibimos llamadas de los conductores. Eh, una vez eh, hay lluvias o tenemos vientos, estas bambúas bajan y tenemos, tenemos problemas con accidentes de tránsito. Muchos eh, camiones están tropezando con las bambúas. The other problems that we have was a fire, a big fire. The duration of this fire was more than 12 hours. Uh, around the neighborhoods and other people help us to, to manage the fire because the nature of bamboo are very flammable. When they are dry, they explode and uh, propagate the fire so fast in the farm. Puro Earth is the world first B2B marketplace standard and registry focusing on carbon removal certificates. We help corporates neutralize their emissions by connecting them with carbon net negative projects by the way of corks. A cork or CO2 removal certificate is a carbon credit representing one ton of CO2 removed from the atmosphere and stored for the long term. At Puro Earth, we developed the pre-cork framework. This initiative helped suppliers secure long-term purchase agreements for corks or long-term corks of take agreements. This enabled to secure long-term revenues for them, and we helped them raise funding by the way of equity, loans, or other non-dilutive capital solutions. Puro's pre cork vehicle is a very important vehicle as a project accelerator and project enabler for us. This type of a vehicle allows us to access capital sooner and accelerate a project execution. Uh, and therefore, you know, the uh, 
project uh, learnings that we get out of the first project, we can implement faster into project two, three, and, and beyond. So we see this actual vehicle as a very creative way to support the industry and support project development such as ours. We have several products under development. The applications of these products are mainly for farming applications, industrial applications, and environment remediation technologies. Some of these products are to be applied for soils in order to improve soil health, to keep nitrogen and fertilizers within the soil, and to also improve water filtration technologies. Some of the benefits that we will have of a good manage of the bamboo is that we will have a new areas for farm, a new access to areas, and we can clean the ways, the road of the, of the farm better to pass the trucks or the different things in the, in the road. To properly harvest bamboo, we have to cut the bamboo at the second node and maintain this diaphragm solid so water doesn't penetrate. By doing this, you have a healthy clump and you avoid this situation that we have throughout the island in Puerto Rico, which is all the, the canes of bamboo are interlocked uh, because of lateral force winds. And they constantly fall in the rivers, plug the rivers and create uh, different scenarios for us to help resolve. So the question of risks is always present. I'm actually very proud that as chairman of the board, I always push for a risk-based approach in this project. And what that means is that probably a year before the project activities even started, we were already sitting down and having risk assessment sessions, basically identifying failure modes, potential risks that may pose an impact to the project success and identifying the risk control mechanisms that would mitigate those, those risks. For example, what's gonna happen when a hurricane strikes the island? How frequently that happens? And actually those meetings drove the design of our operations. And for example, all of our equipment and unitary operations are designed mobile. So that if there's a hurricane coming our way, in about eight hours, we will be able to protect all our assets inside containers and move them to a facility that can withstand the winds. But on not, not only external risks, we also discuss internal risks, operational risks, even risks that may pose an impact to the product quality, documenting what are the critical quality attributes of our final product and the critical process parameters that basically drive those attributes. We even went further. We, were, we studied what are the risks surrounding product placement and market inception in a way to have a tool that can help us and guide us through the project development. We already count with the support of the Puerto Rico Natural Resources Agency, the Land Management Agency, and with the direct support of three municipalities in the southwest part of Puerto Rico. This project we see as something of a model and the first of many uh, both in the Caribbean as well as in the America, especially in the U.S. and Canada, that deals with waste and conversion of such waste into a useful carbon sequestering product called biochar. One last thing I'd like to point out is that these risk assessment sessions are not supposed to be a one-time only exercise. Global guidelines on risk management suggest that this should be a continuous effort, a living document, so that every time we learn more about our project and our mistakes, all that goes back and feed into our risk portfolio, providing us with a great, powerful tool for decision making and providing a higher level of assurance and trust to our investors and all those people that are counting on us to make this project a reality. Your support to Biorestorative Ideas project through Puro Earth Precords is going to directly impact our region through the creation of new employment, utilization of bamboo biomass, and the implementation of new carbon sequestration technologies. We invite you to get in touch with Puro Earth in order to get to know more about our project. And in the meantime, we will continue 
on our endeavor. Together, let's grow the carbon removal market and let's tackle the climate crisis.